31. Here we're told in the watch of the Lord, let all bitterness and wrath and anger and clamor and evil speaking be put away from you with all malice. How do you do that? That's what I just told you now. You know, in the, in the, in the school. And we wanted to, if we wrote a sentence, or sometimes you wrote a whole page, and you wanted to clean out that page, little by little, at that time, we're not using Bible, we're using pen to write. And then we'll take meal tea. And then we take something that looks like a brush. We don't just pour the meal tin on the page. Word by word, we put the brush with the meal tin on, you know, on them one by one. And then we begin to see how to wipe off everything. Bitterness. You know, we put that meal tin on the B and the I and the T and the E and the R. And then we'll wipe it off very clean. And then we we'll say, I draw. When we put the meal tin there, just a letter at a time, a word at a time, and then the anger and the clamor, and then the evil speaking, be put away from you with all malice. And we're very gently, but because we still want to use that page. And if you will do that in your life, you look at the family, and you look at the offenses you have been gathering together in the family, the beginning of breakthrough, and then just sit down and say, Why oh, am I angry? But at this woman, this woman, you know, she wakes up in the morning and cooks my breakfast, and she washes all my clothes, and she cleans the house, and she takes care of these children, and she's so nice, and she goes to the market, and she does this, and she's doing business, and she's also, in, you know, into office work, and then she brings the money and puts everything on the table, and she's taking care of me. Why on earth am I angry against this woman? Yes, I can trace the beginning of that offense. It's when she said this and said this and said this to put everything down. And then you take the milking of grace and the milking of love. And little by little, I, I can I not forgive her for this? This woman sacrificing like this to take care of me. Okay, I strike this off. It remains this one. I think I can strike that off. You know, when you do that, you feel great. You feel big. You feel that you are on top of the world. Say, look at me. I am strong. Strong enough to forgive. Look at me. I am worthy. I am worthy of grace. I am worthy of love. And look at me. I am so strong that I am able to forgive this woman. And then you smile. And you say, woman, you know, I feel strong in my mind. I feel that I'm now a real man. I feel proud of myself because you forgive. And that forgiveness is the beginning of breakthrough in your life. I come now to point number three. What's point number three? Tell me if you, if you wrote it down very well. The blessedness of Beatitudes in the family. What do we call Beatitudes? Look at Matthew chapter 5. Matthew chapter 5. We're going to look at the Beatitudes. The blessedness of Beatitudes in the family. From verse 3. Blessed are the point spirit. For this is the kingdom of heaven. Blessed are they that mourn. For they shall be comforted. Blessed are the meat. For they shall inherit their blessed are they that do hunger and thirst after righteousness. For they shall be filled. Blessed are the merciful. For they shall obtain mercy. Blessed are the pure in heart. For they shall see God. Blessed are the peacemakers. For they shall be called the children of God. Blessed are they when uh, uh, they which are persecuted for righteousness sake for theirs is the kingdom of heaven blessed are ye when men shall revile you and persecute you and shall say all men of evil against you falsely for my sake rejoice and be exceeding glad for great is your reward in heaven uh, for so persecuted they the prophets that were before you those are the Beatitudes. If you look at the Beatitudes, you are going to learn something. The Beatitudes starts with what word? What word? Blessed. And then now the Beatitudes for the family. We're looking at Psalm 32. Psalm 32. The Beatitudes, blessedness of Beatitudes in the family. Verse 1. Blessed is he whose transgression is forgiven, whose sin is covered. 
the blessedness in the family starts when the husband, the wife, the children, they go to the Lord and they have forgiveness from the Lord. Blessed is the man. Blessed is the woman. Blessed is the child whose transgression is forgiven, whose sin is covered. Psalm 40 verse 4. In Psalm 40 verse 4, Blessed is that man that maketh the Lord his trust. When after you have become a Christian, you are born again. As husband, as wife. Blessed is the man that makes the Lord his trust. And respected not the proud. No such as turn aside to lies. You kind of send away from the family. All those strangers that come and, you know, they, they, are, they are liars. You don't associate with them. We're looking at Psalm 84 verse 5. The blessedness of the Beatitudes. Psalm 84. I'm reading from verse 5. Blessed is the man whose strength is in thee. In whose heart are the ways of them. Verse 7. They go from strength to strength. Every one of them in Zion appeareth before God. Verse 12. O Lord of hosts, blessed is the man that trusteth in thee. When you allow your strength to be of the Lord, how blessed you are. Psalm 1. In Psalm 1, I'm reading from verse 1. Psalm 1, verse 1. Blessed is the man that walketh not in the counsel of the ungodly, nor standeth in the way of sinners, nor sitteth in the seat of discomfort. His delight is in the law of the Lord. In his law does he meditate day and night. He shall be like a tree planted by the rivers of water. And that bringeth forth his fruit in his season, his leave also shall not wither. Whatsoever he doeth shall prosper. Psalm 119. In Psalm 119, I'm reading from verse 1. Psalm 119, verse 1. Blessed are the undefiled in the way who walk in the law of the Lord. That's the blessedness. You want to be a family that has the beatitudes. You want to be a family that has the blessedness that in your way, in your life, you are undefiled. Blessed is the undefiled in the way who walk in the law of the Lord. Blessed are they that keep his testimonies and that seek him with the whole heart. They do no iniquity. They walk in his ways. Psalm 128 from verse 1. In Psalm 128 verse 1, Blessed is everyone that fears the Lord, that walketh in his ways. For thou shalt eat the labor of thine hands. Happy shalt thou be, and it shall be well with thee. Thy wife shall be as a fruitful vine by the sides of thine house. Thy children like holy plants round about thy table. Psalm, Psalm 112. Praise you the Lord, blessed is the man that fears the Lord. He delighteth greatly in his commandments. His seed shall be mighty upon the earth. Gen the generation of the upright shall be blessed. Wells and riches shall be in his house. And his righteousness endureth forever. Unto the upright there arises light in the darkness. He is gracious and full of compassion and righteous. A good man showeth favor and lendeth. He will guide his affairs with discretion. Surely he shall not be moved forever. The righteous shall be in everlasting remembrance. He shall not be afraid of evil tidings. His heart is fixed trusting in the Lord. His heart is established. He shall not be afraid until he see the desire, his desire upon his enemies. Those are the things, the blessedness that come to the children of God. It will come to you. It has come to you already. We are going to rise up now. Is it? It's time to have this freedom for the whole family. You look at the burden in the family. Burden of bondage. And then you go from that burden. And then you go to the breaking, to the breakthrough. That the Lord wants to give everyone. But you know the beginning of the breakthrough. Whatever sin has come into your life. 
whatever strange thing has come into the family. You want to remove everything, report everything to the Lord, turn away from everything, repent of everything. It was when Abimelech sent away Sarah. That's when the yoke was broken. And it is when we remove all those things that have come as sin, as evil, idolatry, immorality. When we remove everything, and then now we're willing to live the life of righteousness in the family. That's when the breakthrough will come. Open your mouth and pray. There's blessing in, this, in obedience. There's suffering in disobedience. And what a great breakthrough you are going to have. When you make up your mind, say, now I'm going to live according to the word of the Lord. You'll be blessed on earth. And then what a great opportunity it will be for you to get to heaven when you die. In Jesus' name we pray. Why don't you raise up your hand for your freedom, for your blessing, for your celebration. I'm assuming that you have done what you ought to do. I said I'm assuming you've done what you ought to do. I'm assuming you've made up your mind that every strange woman that has come into your life, all those strange women from this moment, they are gone and never to return in Jesus' name. I'm assuming that those mates, those servants you brought in, that became the outlet or the, uh, the, the, the magnet for evil spirit, familiar spirit to come into the family. I'm assuming you made up your mind when we finish here, they are gone already. They are going to remain with you. I'm assuming that all the bitterness, all the anger, all the unforgiveness, all the unfaithfulness, all the lost, all the fornication, adultery. I'm assuming that everybody here without exception we have made up our minds. Now, all those things, whether private or public, they will never come into our lives again in Jesus' name. I'm believing that the door is open now. Door of blessing. Door of opportunity. Door of breakthrough. Door of the supernatural. And then, wife, husband, children, you are all blessed in Jesus' name. The breakthrough has come. The breakthrough has come. Do you believe? Do you believe? Before we pray, put your hands together. Praise the Lord. You know, sometimes, uh, you know, these, uh, these young people can teach us great, great lessons. Great lessons. You know, you ask any of these children, uh, when, when you will say, put your hands together, and then, uh, you know, they clap, don't clap yet, and then they clap and clap, and you call one of them, you say, ah, boy, why were you clapping so much like that? Oh, he said, you know what I'm clapping like that? If you clap small, you receive small. If you clap big, you receive big. If you clap much, <laughs> Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. You know, I, 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 I praise the Lord. Amen. You know, if you become an old man and you're not able to learn from these children, you know, they will want to bury you. But you know, these children, are you, are you, do you want me to die now? Because I'm learning a lot of lessons from you. When I see you clap, when I see you smile, I say, these children, you are in for blessing. Amen. You know, we can decree. I told you, in this, our church, we decree no barrenness again. And you know something? 
take my word, all our people who were not able to come here because they went to the hospital, we're going to send the healing to them right there where they are. And the people that have lost their job, you go back from this next week and begin to get that job back. And what do they call bad luck? Bad luck, not in this church again. Because something good has started in every life in Jesus' name. Put up your hand. Amen. Raise up your hand now. Stretch it up. Stretch it up. Stretch it up. The higher it goes, the higher the blessing. Father, in the name of Jesus, I thank you because this is a blessed family. This is a glorious family. Oh Lord, we take the broom of the supernatural. And we sweep away every cause, every yoke, every affliction from every family here in Jesus' name. Every sickness, every pain, every infirmity. This is now a glorious family. You have no right to be there. I command you sickness. I command you evil power. Get out in Jesus' name. Failure, get out in Jesus' name. Defeat, get out in Jesus' name. All you principalities and powers, all familiar spirits, witches, and all wizards, all powers of darkness against any brother, any sister, any child, any family here, I take authority over you. And I command you, pack your Lord and go. Oh Lord, I pray any deformity, any sickness, any pain, what they call incurable disease, no more in this church. No more in this church. Lord, the people here, they will see their desire. Desire for their parents desire for their children you have shown us the ladder we have started climbing we will not come down we will climb to the top in jesus name we we'll pronounce peace for every family prosperity for every family joy and happiness for every family all the caterpillars and the canker worms will destroy them now in Jesus' name. Lord, I pray you will shield your people. You will protect your people. When they go to the left, go to the right, go far, go anywhere, protect them in Jesus' name. Lord, evil people will not touch anybody here. And those of us who should have been here, but because of sickness, they are not able to be here. Now they are in the hospital. We send the healing virtue of Christ to them now. Heal them in Jesus' name. And for those who have been cheated from their places of work, that they stop them unjustly, terminated their appointment unjustly, took away their bread from their mouths unjustly, or remove the tables from their market unjustly. Or they close their shops unjustly. Or they carry their property away unjustly. Oh God, stop the enemy. Arrest the enemy. Everything they are taking away from your people, take it away from their hand. And restore to your people from today in Jesus' name. Lord, on this day, this special day, we cancel barrenness in our church. All you sisters and brothers that married in this church, and the Lord led us to join you together. Whatever came into your life that has brought barrenness or the authority of the name of Jesus, or the power of the Holy Ghost, of the assurance of the promises of God 
I declare to you, barrenness is gone in Jesus' name. And all those who married in this church, and you have been barren until this day, I open the door for you now. Miracle children. Miracle children. Miracle children. For every one of you in Jesus' name. And I pray for those who came after they were married. They heard something good is going on in this place. And they want to eat the good of the land, the promised land with us. They have come. Lord, bless them. Barrenness in their lives comes in Jesus' name. I pray for these, our happy children. They are happy to be in a church like this. Every time we see them, we are happy that we are with them. We are happy that we are their parents. Lord, these children will not fail. Every failure, every defeat in their lives, I cancel in Jesus' name. From primary to JS, give them express way. From JSS to, uh, to SS, give them express way. And then from SS and they're going to university and college, oh Lord, make the way open for them in Jesus' name. None of our children will be illiterate. None of our children will be failures. None of our children will be defeated. None of our children will street boy, street girl. Our children will go to the top in Jesus' name. Lord, we pronounce prosperity on everyone. For the rest of this year, overload them with blessing in Jesus' name. Lord, I pray, wipe all their tears away. Take all their sorrows away. They have come to celebrate. Put celebration in every heart. Confirm your miracle in every life today. Thank you, Lord, because we know you have answered. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen.